Hello students. Today we will discuss the next chapter in our book Beehive, chapter 3. And the name of this chapter is The Little Girl. It is written by the author Catherine Mansfield. So let's have a short look about the author and then we'll move to the lesson. The author was born on 14th October 1888 in Wellington in New Zealand. He passed away on 9th January in the year 1923 at the age of 34 in Fountain Blame in France. Her pen name was Catherine Mansfield. Nationality, New Zealand. Literary movement, modernism. And what do you mean by what do you mean by modernism? It is an art related to the past and the co-current. Okay. Then spouse, George Borden and John Middleton Moray. Partner, Ida Constance Baker. Okay. So this was a short description about the author. Now we have a very beautiful quote for you children. The best way to make children good is to make them happy. So from our side, we are always keeping you happy, making you happy. Now it's your turn that you also respect your elders, your parents. Okay. So now some specific objectives related to this lesson we will go through. The special objective of this teaching lesson is to educate the children some of the integral facts of child psychology. They must be aware of the universal intention of their parents. The parents are their well-wisher, though they are looking strict. Okay, so the title of the story, The Little Girl, refers to the main character that we will come across. And that is a little girl named Kizia. Now the theme of the story is the relationship between children and their parents. And the writer wants to share this, that the children share a very important bond of love with their parents although when the children are small when they are young they do not feel that their parents love them because their parents are strict and many actions of the parents seem unjustified but as children grow up they realize that their parents did all the acts all the strictness for their beneficial the parents were concerned for them they needs the strictness lies a heart full of love for the children and this bond of love between the parents and the children is highlighted in this story. So, page number 32 of your textbook. We will go to the topic before you read. Some two points are there. We have to discuss that and then we will move to the chapter. First it is, do you feel you know your parents better now than when you were much younger? Perhaps you now understand the reasons for some of the actions that used to upset people you earlier so here even you all can relate to this you all can also feel that when you were young the actions that your parents did the strictness that they had towards you was for your betterment and as you will grow older and older you will realize that in the past whatever acts strictness your parents did were for your betterment and in fact they really love you Okay, now second point we will see. This story about a little girl whose feelings for her father change from fear to understanding will probably find an echo in your home. Okay, so now what do you mean by probably find an echo in every home? This means that all the children will feel the same way. So you all can relate to the feelings of little girl Kizia. Just like Kizia is full of fear towards her father and later on the understanding she gets of her father's behavior feels that he is concerned about her. He really loves her. So you can relate to Kizia. Okay, the story very well. Now we'll move to the story. To the little girl, he was a fear to be feared and avoided. Okay, now just see the first line, a figure to be feared. What do you mean by this? It means that a person to be feared and who is the figure to be feared over here. Okay, now what do you mean by this? It means that Kezia's father. So this, he refers to Kezia's father and the little girl is Kezia. So the opening line of the story is indicating the fear that Kezia has for her father. 
got it and as she is fearful of her father she tries to avoid him she tries to remain away from him now every morning before going to work father would visit her in her room and give her give kizia a kiss and in reply kizia would say goodbye father so this action of kizia's father indicates his love for kizia there was a glad sense of relief when she heard the noise of the carriage growing fainter and fainter now glad sense of relief means relax and fainter and fainter means lesser and lesser or reduced so here we can make out the fear that kizia has for her father the writer says when kizia heard that her father's carriage was going away from home he was leaving home and the sounds of the carriage became fainter and fainter lesser and lesser that means the sounds was reduced kizia would have a sense of relaxation she would feel relieved that her father had left now why does she feel relieved because she feared her father and she was afraid of her yes and so she was relieved when he left the home now in the evening when kizia's father returns home kizia heard his loud voice and this loud voice once again made her feel afraid afraid of her father and what did her father say bring my tea into the drawing room okay what do you mean by drawing room here children it is the hall where we sit and watch tv okay so it is a type of hall so his father orders bring my tray of tea into the drawing room and hasn't the paper come yet bring my slippers so all this order he gives when he returns back from the work so just as kizia's father returns home he would start ordering all these things he would say that bring my tea he wanted his tea he wanted the newspaper he would ask his mother to go and see if the newspaper was there outside the house and he would ask her to get her slippers and then further mother would call kizia and ask her to remove her father's boots slowly the girl would slip down the stairs more slowly still across the hall now here what do you mean by slip down she comes very slowly quietly unwillingly okay so again we see that kizia is afraid of her father that is why she would come down the stairs quietly and unwillingly because she did not want to face her father she feared him now just imagine imagine kizia's father is sitting in the drawing room on the sofa and he is wearing his spectacles and he is looking kizia over the spectacles now the way he looked at her terrified kizia she was horrified because maybe it seems to her her father is staring at her well kizia hurry up and pull off these boots and take them outside have you been a good girl today now her father would tell her to hurry up as kizia is very slow in emotion she is afraid of her father so he would tell her to hurry up and remove his boots and keep them outside the room then he would ask her that she was a good girl that day and kizia replied i don't know father why kizia is stammering because she is not confident whenever you are not confident you also have such type of feeling of fear you don't know so here kizia's father is also copying her and he also stammers as she did and he said that if she stammered like that mother would have to take her to the doctor for a check up you can see the word stutter so what do you mean by stutter it means to stammer to speak with pauses and same kizia did okay she was stammering she was stuttering okay she was speaking with a pause why because she was frightened of her father okay and uh, given up means stop doing do and trying so hard making a lot of effort what's the matter what are you looking so wretched about mother i wish you taught this child not to appear on the brink of suicide now when father looks at kizia he feels that something is wrong with kizia and ask her why she so unhappy and then he tells to the mother 
that she should teach Kezia to behave in a better way. And she should not appear that she is so unhappy that she is about to end her life. So he wants to tell that Kezia seems so unhappy with her life that it seems that she did not want to live any longer. Now here wretched means unhappy, sad. And on the brink of suicide, what do you mean by this line? About to commit suicide. And suicide is to kill oneself. Okay. He was so big, his hands and his necks, especially his mouth. Here, this is the feeling, the vision that Kezia has for her father. She feels that her father is so big, he was just like a giant. And then the writer also says that she is afraid of his hands, his mouth, his neck, all so huge, especially when he yawned. It seems as if he was a huge giant, a monster. And whenever Kizia thought about her father, she felt that she was thinking about a giant. On Sunday afternoon, grandmother sent her down to the drawing room. Now, every Sunday during the afternoon time, Kizia's grandmother sent her downstairs to the drawing room in order to have a nice talk with her parents. So Kizia was supposed to behave in a nice and decent way in front of her parents and they had a formal get together. So here we feel that Kizia felt a bit neglected. Okay. Every Sunday afternoon when she went to her parents to meet them in the drawing room to have a nice talk with them, they were busy doing their own things. They were not paying attention to her. Her mother was reading and her father was busy sleeping and snoring. Now, what do you mean by snoring? Uh, making loud voice while sleeping. You must have noticed some people they snore. At the time of sleeping they make loud sound. Okay. So Kizia had this image of her parents in her mind. They did not talk with her. They did not spend time with her. And on the other hand they were busy doing their own things. If we see page number 33 of the textbook, here you can see this is the vision Kizia had as about her parents. Rather than speaking, spending time with her, talking to her, discussing things with her, her mother is busy reading and her father is sleeping. So, it is a type of negligence of the child. The parents are not paying attention towards the child. Page number 34. She sat on a stool, gravely watched him. Now, what do you mean by gravely? Gravely means seriously. All the while, Kezia's father was asleep. She would just sit on a stool and watch him carefully till the time he will wake up and stretch his body and then he would ask the time and then he would look at Kezia. Don't stare so, Kezia. You look like a little brown owl. So, Kizia's father compares Kizia to a little owl. He would say that Kizia was staring at him just like an owl does. Now, one day Kizia was not well. She had a cold and so she was supposed to stay at home. So her grandmother suggested to Kizia that as she was at home and her father's birthday was approaching, she could make a birthday gift for him, for him means for his father. And her grandmother gave her an idea what to make. So she suggested that Kezia should make a pin cushion for him. And she also gave her yellow colored fabric of silk to make the cushion. Okay, cushion you know, we use uh, this uh, for sleeping. Laboriously with a double cotton. Now what do you mean by laboriously? It means with a lot of effort or difficulty. And double cotton, what do you mean by this? It is a thread. Okay, so now Kizia put a lot of effort to make the birthday gift. She used double cotton, that is thread, and she stitched three sides of the cushion. But now what to fill it with the, in that cushion? That was a cushion for Kizia. Okay, Kizia had prepared the bag, the bag shape of the cushion, and yet she was supposed to stitch the fourth side. Before that she had to fill the cushion with something. And she did not know what to fill the cushion with. 
Now Kezia was confused. Grandmother were out in the garden. Kezia was just looking what to do, what to fill in the cushion and she reached her mother's bedroom. She was looking for some scrap. Scrap means bits of paper or pieces of cloth that are not needed. So Kezia entered her mother's room, mother's bedroom. Just searching what things I can get and fill it in the cushion. Okay. As we know, Kizia is a small little girl. She is very young. She does not know so many things. So now, what did she did? On the bedside table, she found a heap of sheets of paper. So, she just gathered all the paper. She tore them into tiny pieces and she stuffed those pieces of paper into the cushion. And then she stitched the fourth side of the cushion. And she had prepared the birthday gift for her father. Got it? Many of you can relate to the Skizia's act. Okay? Because many of the children do such things unknowingly. They do not intend to create any mischief or harm anyone. But they end up doing this. Okay? Now that night. What happened that night? Now Kizia has torn some important papers. So that night there was a hue and cry in the house. What do you mean by hue and cry? Angry protest. Okay. Now there was a lot of shouting in the house. Because Kezia's father had prepared a speech for the post authority for a particular meeting. And he was unable to find the speech. Now we all know where has this speech gone? It has been torn into tiny pieces and Kezia has stuffed it into the cushion. But the family was searching. They didn't know what Kezia has done. The family searched everywhere. Servants were asked but no one knew where the sheets of paper had gone. And finally the mother reached Kezia's room and asked her did she saw some papers lying on the table in her mother's room? Oh yes. Kizia said, I told them for my surprise. Here we see that Kizia is an innocent girl. She didn't know what she is telling. She didn't intend to harm anyone. She was just preparing the birthday gift for her father. And so very truly she tells her mother that she had found some sheets of paper and she needed them to stuff into the cushion. So she tore them and prepared her surprise. That is the birthday gift for her father. So unknowingly, Kizia has done a great disaster. What? Screen mother. Come straight down to the dining room. This instant. Now Kizia's mother was furious. When she comes to know about this. Kizia has torn the speech that her father is searching for. And so she ordered Kizia to come down into the drawing room at that very moment. And she dragged her down where her father was walking to and fro. Here for walking a word is there pacing. Okay. So pacing means to walk. Walking. Now Kizia's father full of tension. His important document has been lost. Kizia has torn it into pieces and so now Kizia will be scolded for the mischief that she had done. Well, he said sharply. Mother explained. Father stopped her and stared at Kizia. Did you do that? No, 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 she whispered. Fetch that damn thing, father said to mother. Now here damn thing is related to what? It is related to that cushion and why it is told like that? Because to express anger on something. Father was very angry. So he said he referred to the cushion as damn thing. Okay. Now why is father referring to cushion? She has prepared a damn thing because he is very angry on the cushion. Because Kizia has torn the important document to prepare it. Now he is very angry with her and he stares at her. Kizia is so scared that she is again stamping. Okay, stamping means to talk with the paws. And then Kizia's father orders her mother to go and bring that cushion downstairs and ask her to put Kizia to bed at that very moment. Page number 35. Crying too much to explain, she lay in the shadow room, watching the evening light 
make a sad little pattern on the floor. Now, Kizia wanted to explain her position. She was innocent. She not mean to harm her father. She just prepared a surprise birthday gift for him. Now, shadowed room here means that as it was dark, there was a light outside the room which was making shadows in the room. And sad little pattern means it refers to sad atmosphere in the room. Kizia is very sad. First, she was happy that she was preparing the birthday present. First, she was happy that she was preparing the surprise birthday gift for her father and he would like it. But on the other hand, she has done a disaster, mistake unknowingly. Father came in the room with a ruler in his hand. He is about to punish Kezia for the wrong act she did. Now, I am going to beat you. No, 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 no. Kezia started screaming. She started hiding under the bedclothes. Now bedclothes means what? Bed sheets. The top sheets that you use to cover yourself while sleeping. Okay? Bed sheets. Kizia's father told her that he would beat her with a ruler and Kizia was too scared, frightened that she hide under the bed sheets. His father ordered her to come out and sit up. Now here we come to know why Kizia's father is being so strict with her. Why he is punishing her. Because he wants Kizia to know this thing once for all that she should not touch that thing that does not belong to her. He wants to teach her this thing so that it benefits her in future life. Right now she is a small child. She does not know what is important, what is not important. And that is why unknowingly she has torn the important document of her father. And so he is punishing her. He will beat her with a ruler. He does not want to harm Kezia. But he wants that Kezia should know that in future she should not touch anything that does not belong to her. Kezia is trying to explain the situation. She says that I was preparing a birthday gift for you father and I have to stuff it with something. And I just tore the pages to stuff them into the cushion. And she is trying to explain that please Papa, excuse me, I was just preparing the birthday gift and wanted to give you a surprise and didn't want to tear your important documents. But Father not listened. Down came the ruler on Kezia's little pink palms. Okay. Father gave the punishment. Kezia was so afraid she got beaten. Her father had hit on her small little palms with the ruler and many hours later her grandmother wrapped her in a shawl and was trying to pacify her. She made her sit in her lap on a rocking chair and she was trying to put Kezia to sleep. And Kezia clung her grandmother. Now what do you mean by clung? To attach yourself to something means to hold tightly to someone. Okay. Now what did God made fathers for? Kizia asked her grandmother and she was sobbing, she was crying. So Kizia is still not comfortable. She is crying and she is saying to her grandmother, God should not have made fathers. She hated her father because she is so innocent. She does not know what wrong she has done. She was just preparing a gift for him. Her grandmother consoles her. And tells, here's a clean hanky darling. Take it and clean your nose. Now, grandfather is trying to pacify her. She's telling to take this handkerchief, clean your nose and go to sleep. In the morning, you will forget about the beating. But Kezia never forgets this incident. Whenever she saw her father approaching, she would quickly keep her hands behind her back. Hide the hands because she thought her father would beat her again and a red color flew into her cheeks. It means when she saw her father, she was so scared that her cheeks were flushed and they were full of red color because she got scared, afraid of him. Now page number 35 only, we will go to the ninth paragraph. It is about Kezia's neighbors. The McDonald's lived next door. They were neighbors of Kezia. They had five children. 
Now here the writer tells about Kezia's neighbors. Her neighbor was a family named McDonald. McDonald. In all, they had five children. And Kezia would look at the family through a gap, through a hole in the fence. And that family had a lot of fun. They played a game called Tag Tag. Now Tag, it is a children game of catching one another. Like the game Catch Catch. Okay. So all the children along with their father, they would play this Catch Catch game in the evening. And Kezia used to see this game playing, uh, the families playing with their children. Okay. Mr. McDonald would make the baby sit on his shoulder. And the two little girls that he had, they were hung onto his coat pockets. So all the children were so much attached to their father. They loved him so much that they would stick to him. And then they would run all around the garden, around the flower beds. And they would laugh and laugh and laugh. So Kezia was also wanted to have such fun with her father and she missed it. And one day she saw that the little boys, the son of MacDonald, opened the hose. What do you mean by hose? It is a water pipe. On him, they opened the water pipe and tried to make him wait. But Mr. MacDonald was not angry with them. He tried to catch them and he was laughing. This was very strange to Kezia because her father was just the opposite of Mr. MacDonald. Then it was she decided there were different sorts of fathers. When Kezia saw MacDonald, she realized that he was quite opposite to her father and she felt that God had made so much various kinds of fathers. Now one day Kezia's mother became ill so she was taken to the hospital. And the grandmother also went along with her. So Kezia was left all alone at home with her father. She was left alone in the house with Alice, the cook. The name of the cook was Alice. Okay. Now Kezia was fine during the daytime. But that night when the cook put Kezia to bed all alone, Kezia started feeling afraid. What I do if I had a nightmare? She said to Alice, the cook. Now here, what do you mean by nightmare? Nightmare means a bad dream. Okay. Kezia asked Alice that if she had a bad dream, what could she do al alone? She is alone in the room. She will get frightened. So Kezia is praying to Alice that whenever she had nightmare, she used to go to her grandmother and she would sleep with her. But now today grandmother is not there. So she said she could not stay all alone in the dark room because she would be scared. She hears different kinds of whispering sounds which make her feel very much frightened and that someone is around her. She feels like that. Now Kezia's father was sleeping in the next room and Alice told Kezia to sleep quietly. She removed Kezia's socks and she told Kezia not to scream, not to shout. She warned her that don't scream otherwise father will wake up. But Kezia was helpless. The same old nightmare came that night also. The butcher with a knife and a rope who came nearer and nearer smiling that dreadful smile. And Kezia started shouting, Grandma, Grandma. Now, this is a nightmare. This is a bad dream Kezia had often. She see a butcher. Now, what do you mean by butcher? Butcher is a person who cuts animals, who cuts meat. Okay. So, this butcher, he used to hold a very sharp knife and a rope and he would approach to Kezia. And he would have a dreadful, awful smile on his face. And once Kezia would see him, she is unable to move. It means she is very much frightened, so much scared of him. She was terrified to see this butcher and in her sleep, Kezia was crying out for help. She was calling her grandmother. She was seeing the same dream, that nightmare. And when Kezia woke up, she was shivering. And what she saw? She saw that her father was standing beside next to her bed and he was holding a candle in his hand. So Kezia's father had heard her scream and heard that Kezia was calling for her grandmother and he had come to help her out. 
What's the matter? He said. He asked Kizia. What is the matter? Why was you screaming? Kizia replied. Oh, a butcher, a knife. I want granny. Now Kizia is still scared. She told father that there is a dreadful butcher with his knife. Father blew out the candle off. He lifted her in his arms and carried to his bedroom. Now here we see the affection, the love of father to Kizia. Okay. Now father lay her in his bed and tuck up her in the bed sheet. Now what do you mean by tuck up? It means to cover up neatly in bed with a bed sheet. Okay. Father lay beside up Kizia. Now Kizia can also feel her father's affection. And so she went close to him. She snuggled herself towards her father and held his shirt tightly so that she cannot feel scared again. And now Kizia has overcome her fear for her father. Now here new word is there snuggle. So what do you mean by snuggle? It means moved close towards somebody uh, and have a warm comfort. Okay, a position close to another person. Now the dark did not matter once again for Kizia. Kizia was with her father. She was no longer afraid of the darkness. Father told Kizia to rub her feet against his legs so it will get a little warm. Now, as Kizia's father was very tired, he slept before Kizia. A feeling came to Kizia's mind. Poor father and not so big. Now here, Kizia is re uh, realizing her mistake and love, affection towards her father. She feels that her father was a poor man. He worked so hard. He was not so big as she found him to be earlier. Now she found that her father worked very hard. And so he got so tired that he went off to sleep and he did not play with her like Mr. MacDonald did with his children. But Kizia felt that her father was also too full of love for her. And then Kizia also realized her mistake. She realized that she has torn up his important documents, the speech that he has written. And all these reala realization made Kizia sigh. Now what do you mean by sigh? It is a relief, a long breath of relief. Okay. So this made her realize that she has done wrong. And that's why her father has beaten her. He has been so strict with her. Now father is asking Kizia, what's the matter? Asked her father, another dream? Now her father asked her, although he was asleep, he heard her sigh. He heard the sound that Kizia made. He asked her, what was the matter? Was she afraid? Was she had a bad dream again? Oh, said Kizia. She replied to her father that she has placed her head on her father's heart and she could hear his heart beat. And she complimented her father that he had a big heart. So Kizia is showing her love to her father as she has realized that her father also loves her. So here we see a bond of love between the father and the child. We will move to the new words. Number one, a figure to be feared means a person to be feared. Slip down, it means come down quietly and unwillingly. After that, terrifying, means very frightening. Next, wretched, it means unhappy. Then, on the brink of suicide, it means about to commit the suicide. And what do you mean by suicide? Killing oneself. Now, next is snoring. It means Making loud sound while sleeping. Then pincushion. Now here the image of that pincushion is given. You can identify it and come to know what is the meaning of pincushion. After that laboriously. It means with a lot of effort or difficulty. Double cotton. Here it is referred to thread. Then scraps. Means small pieces of cloth or paper that are not needed. You and cry. It means angry protest. Tag. It is a children's game of catching one another. Catch, catch game. Okay. Then nightmare. It is a bad dream. 
tucked up means covered up neatly in bed then snuggled it means moved to a warm and comfortable position to another person okay so here we come to end of the lesson pdf will be provided to you in which all the question answers will be there you have to copy down very neat and tidy in your notebook and complete your notebook okay so have a nice day thank you okay so now we will move to the textbook question answers thinking about the test first question here goes given below are some emotions that kezia felt match the emotions in column a with the items in column b so first we will take fear or terror when kezia was very much frightened or terrified so the answer for it is when father comes home when she speaks to father at the time of going to bed when alone at home and when father stretched out on the sofa snoring so this time kezia was little terrified then second glad sense of relief when she was relieved so kezia was relieved when father comes into her room to give her a good bye kiss and the noise of the carriage grows fainter okay third question a funny feeling perhaps of understanding so when kezia starts understanding her father when father comforts her and falls asleep at that time perhaps kezia is understanding her father okay now we will move to the second question answer the following questions in one or two sentences each here goes the first question why was kezia afraid of her father answer for this question kezia was afraid of her father because he was very strict who always used to give commands to everybody else in the house he never played with her he had big hands and heavy face especially his mouth when he yawned well big and she was specially terrified with the manner in which he looked at her over his spectacles so kezia was afraid of her father second question who were the people in kezia's family answer kezia's family consisted of her mother father grandmother and herself okay now third question what was kezia's father's routine before going to his office after coming back and on sundays so all three this events are given here and we have to find out what was his father's routine so we will see the answer first one here goes before going to his office kezia's father usually went into her room to give her a casual kiss then second after coming back from his office he ordered for tea to brought into the drawing room he also asked his mother to bring him the newspaper and his slippers and kezia to pull off his boots and on sundays kezia's father would stretch out on the sofa he would cover his face with his handkerchief put his feet on one of the cushions and sleep soundly okay question number 4 in what ways did kezia's grandmother encourage her to get to know her father better answer kezia's grandmother encouraged her to get to know her father better by sending her to the drawing room to talk to her parents on sundays she also suggested kezia to make a pin cushion out of a beautiful piece of yellow silk as a gift for her father's birthday so in this way kezia's grandmother encouraged her to get to know her father better okay okay now we will move to the next question discuss this questions in class with your teacher and then write down your answers in two or three paragraphs each okay now we are not in class but though we are virtual learning we can discuss here with the help of this system okay so first question kezia's efforts to please her father resulted in displeasing him very much how did this happen answer kezia's effort to please her father resulted in displeasing him on every sunday her grandmother sent her down to the drawing room to have nice talk with father and mother but her presence always irritated the father he used to call her little brown owl One day her grandmother told her that her father's birthday would be next week and suggested that she should make him a pin cushion for beautiful gift. After stitching three sides of the cushion with double cotton with great care and effort Kezia was stuck as to what to fill. 
the cushion with. Since her grandmother was busy in the garden, she searched her mother's bedroom for scraps. Finally, she discovered sheets of paper on the bed table. She gathered these, tore them up and filled the cushion with the torn pieces. But unfortunately, her efforts to please her father not only went in vain but also had an unanticipated consequence. This was because the sheets she had torn were her father's speech for the port authority. Her father scolded her for touching things that did not belong to her and punished her by hitting her palm with a ruler. So in this way, Kizia worked hard for pleasing her father but it was all in vain. Okay. Second question will go. Kizia decides that there are different kinds of fathers. What kind of father was Mr. Macdonald and how was he different from Kizia's father? We'll see the answer. Kizia compared her father with Mr. Macdonald, her next door neighbor. He was a loving, gentle and forgiving father. He was always smiling and playing with his children. He treated his children in a friendly manner. He was just opposite to Kizia's father. Unlike Kizia's father, he never punished his children. He played with them whenever he was free. So, Kizia's father was very harsh and strict disciplinary according to Kizia. That's why her father was exactly opposite to that of Mr. Macdonald. Got the answer? Now, third question we will move. How does Kizia begin to see her father as a human being who needs her sympathy? Okay, we will see the answer. As her mother and grandmother were at the hospital, Kizia is left at home in the care of Alice, the cook. At night, after she is put to bed by the cook, she has a nightmare. She calls her grandmother, but to her surprise, she finds her father standing near her bed. He takes her in his arms and makes her sleep next to him. Half asleep, she creeps close to him, snuggles her head under his arm and holds tightly to his shirt. Her father asks her to rub her feet against his legs for warmth. Her father goes off to sleep before her. This makes her understand that he has to work hard every day and this leaves him too tired to be like Mr. McDonald. She expresses her altered feelings for her father by telling him that he has a big heart. So in this way, Kizia begins to see her father as a human being again. So here we come to end of this exercise and we have completed our chapter 2. Hope you must have got through this lesson nicely. If any doubts, kindly clear it and complete your notebooks. Again, PDF will be provided and all questions will be provided to you. You have to complete your class of notebook. The new words you have to copy down, question answers, along with the extra questions which will be provided to you. All this you have to write down very neat and tidy in your class of notebook. Keep it ready. Remember children, 9th standard is the base of your 10th standard. If you start working hard from this year, it will be very fruitful for you in the next year. It will not go little hard. So 10th standard will be very easy for you if you start working out from this year only. So study hard, use your time properly and be a good, not very good, but excellent, talented student. Okay, so have a nice day once again and till then bye. Thank you.